Windsor is a small town outside of London that is a pretty middle-class town that happens to be hosting the Flower of the Garter celebration, where the Knights of the Garter are gathering. And we catch up with this town. This is a yearly celebration. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of new people coming in. So we're all ready to celebrate and show ourselves proud. But on the other hand, when we meet Falstaff, we learn that um, perhaps he's not as noble as he seems to be. He's not an, an evil creature by any means. He just doesn't really realize his own limitations. Oh, here comes Sir John. Now, Master Shallow, you complain of me to the king? But you have beaten my men, killed my deer, and broke open my lodge. But not kissed your keeper's daughter. <laughs> Sir John Falstaff is a man who appears to be inordinately pleased with himself. And he's poor. He's not a rich man. So when he runs out of funds, it's, it's a problem. When he runs out of money, he figures his large ego figures, well, I know what to do. These two women in town who hold the key to their husband's coffers, if I seduce them, which I can do like that, I'll be able to get their husbands to open up the bank and I can take their money. All we know is that we individually receive love letters from him, which sends us into our own personal tizzies. And then when we <laughs> figure out that we've both gotten one and they're exactly the same, except for the name. We are outraged. So we decide that we are going to trick him a little bit. If he be of any reasonable stature, he may creep in here and uh, throw foul linen upon him as if it were going to dash it me. Oh, he's too big to go in there. Whoa. What shall I do? Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, let me see it. I live, I live. Yeah. I think the audience will love this play. There's something really, really beautiful about the way Shakespeare allows his characters to express themselves. There's a lot of love and heart in the play. You get the sense that Shakespeare just kind of wanted to have a good time with this one. <laughs> and he's still brilliant yeah. and poetic and um, deep and beautiful, but it's just, it does have this sort of levity to it. It's like a, a pillow fight. That's what it is. It's just a really great pillow fight under the trees and under the stars. <laughs>